Civilization is a vulnerable thing, a whim of circumstance. At any time, the smallest flap of a butterfly's wings may set catastrophe in motion. Haran, an entire city wiped from the map. Those left behind there did not stand a chance. The world's greatest minds came together and found a vaccine against the Haran virus. Finally, mankind had prevailed against the disease. But people always want more. Despite a promise to shutter its labs, the GRE continued its research in secrecy for military purposes. It didn't take long for a variant of THV to escape into the world once more. The fall happened more rapidly than anyone could have predicted. The few who survived now live in small enclaves the only means of contact between distant human settlements are lone individuals, brave or desperate enough to travel on their own across dangerous wastelands. They are known as pilgrims. Somewhere on the map, one city is still standing. A city isolated from the outside world. A city with special rules. Now, it's the last bastion of humanity. A chance for us to learn from history. And for once, make the right choices. Because every choice you make here shapes the future. Irreversibly. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are starting the gameplay walkthrough of the latest released on February 4, Dying Light 2, Stay Human. So as you guys saw in the opening cutscene that the virus was cured with a vaccine but another strain got released somehow and it has infected the earth again. This time at a much more rapid pace than earlier. And some people are wandering about known as pilgrims and some are trying to hide in their own homes. Let's see which side we are on. As we enter this game. I really like the first dying light. I really enjoyed the game. Quite hyped for this game as well. So Let's begin our journey of Dying Light 2. Let's go with easy mode. As I am not very good at zombie games, especially melee fighting. Because I experienced this in Dying Light. The zombies were too hard to kill in Dying Light. We don't know about this game, but it was kind of difficult to kill zombies with melee weapons in the last game. So I am going with easy. 
so if you guys like the video make sure to like and subscribe to my channel also share the video with your friends and tune in daily for new gameplay videos okay we are in 2036 15 years after the fall so I presume that this is 15 years after the previous dying dying light I'm only presuming this I don't know yet oh we are running from zombies oh my god oh shit jump oh that was a close call stupid zombies <laughs> I'm glad they are stupid. <laughs> Beautiful world. Ooh, you still got it. Spike, so I remember you. More fun. <laughs> <laughs> you used to be younger. I dumber. What matters is you're still just as fast. Because a slow pilgrim yeah, is a, a dead, dead pilgrim. pilgrim. Yeah, I know, I know. Get up here. I want to show you something. Pilgrim's path, okay. Just a minute, guys. I have to see the graphic settings over here. This game looks trash. I have set to medium, but let's see one more. Okay, let's change that to full screen. Uh, okay, I think this is this is the setting that is messing everything up. So let's see what happens if there is a performance drop we are gonna always change the setting okay, I think I think there is a performance drop so uh, let's continue with that um, upscaling okay, let's set to performance mode this time let's see how this goes the FPS has increased but the quality is trash let's continue for now I'll try to optimize the settings in the next part ok uh, ok we can hold jump jump farther <laughs> ok yeah ok we have to go here I suppose It's good to see you, Spike. I mean, how long has it been? <laughs> Far too long. But don't get off mercy on me now. Come, I want to show you something. Spike Where has grown old. You'll see. It's I don't think this is the What's same incredible? Spike from Dying Light, Most but if he is. Last two, three years on the road. Nice to see you, mate. Kicking around for what? <laughs> Four years now? And you're still alive. 4GB is so the minimum you? VRAM required for this game. But, but I'm fucking awesome. I am still yeah. on 3GB, but yeah, right, it right. should run smoothly on Seriously, the low settings at least. I wish I had as much energy as you. Got a new lead on Jane? Nah, trail went cold after New Paris. Which route did you take? Through Baines or Gary? Eh, yeah, Baines. What a shithole. Some five rickety huts left and a ramshackle fence. <laughs> Look at that. A beehive full of honey. Can't let an opportunity like this go to waste. Uh, no way. Oh, look around. If we're lucky, there's chamomile growing here, too. Okay, I think chamomile is a important substance in the game. Okay, survival sense. Nice. I really like this one. Here is another one. We've known each other for a long time, but I'll still get pissed off at you if you don't hurry. Yeah, this will do. Stand back to Spike. Do you remember that old herbalist we helped escort to her village? Oh yeah, the one that had that saying. Um... Remember, chamomile and honey are gifts that keep giving. Combine them and lucky you. You just might go on living. Yeah, 
Okay, we got some blueprints for medicines. Nice. Okay, we can craft here. Okay. There is an also option to craft max. We are almost there. That's helpful. So we can craft as many as we can instead of just clicking it every one, two, three like that. We can just go to craft all. That's a nice little option. I think the game's performance will improve over time. This is it. Come maybe. On. Because Dying Light's performance increased quite a bit after the release. Just a minute guys, I am going to tweak the video settings a little bit. Uh, we don't want this upscaler quality, but we should be able to run uh, on low settings. Field of view, let's reduce it to 1, motion blur, turn it off. Ok, let's see how this works. Damn it, lock. See? I'll try to get through here. They're upscaling this the shit in this game. Take anything we could use. Yeah, sure. That upscaler is shit. Look how much the graphics improved. You'll never find a way in just standing here. Mm, okay, I have to go around the house. Nope. There may be zombies in here. Do you have a weapon with us? I suppose not. No weapon. I thought there would be an axe in that box, but no. Okay, looks like we have to go barehanded for now. Let's couch. So that we, okay, here it is. We got to remember using the survivor sense. Empty. Someone, it means it's time to go. Okay, night is falling. I think night is coming. So, Spike is saying, Let's loot this quickly. Okay, rice. Okay, that's useful. Some soap, some rags. I think those can be used for craft. Nothing in here. Crafting Molotov cocktails. Let's open up this. Nothing here. Old newspaper. We remember Haran. <laughs> this is a small Easter egg, guys. I think Dying Light came exactly 5 years before. I think this is kind of easter egg. I wonder how the wine tasted back then. Yeah. Who do you voodoo? Hmm. Oh, oh, Dead Island. <laughs> that is the soundtrack from one of the heroes of Dead Island game. That was also a very good game. <laughs> Who do you would you bitch? <laughs> really like that song. <laughs> Nada. Zip. Hi, 
hide area. Okay. Okay. Some bags over there as well. Let's investigate. Some cigarettes. Resin. And that's what they called art? <laughs> Come on man, how can they call it art? He's right. <laughs> it is just random paint strokes all over the canvas. <laughs> See this also, how can they call this art? Okay, I think we have looted everything, so let's open up this door. Hopefully a zombie will welcome us. It's a cafeteria of some sort, maybe a local bar. I think some of these may be still alive. No, these are just dead bodies. That's heartbreaking. There's nothing like a party to celebrate the end of the world. Uh, they died on their own terms. <laughs> Let's hope we get that lucky too. <sighs> I'll see what's upstairs. You check out the garden, okay? Okay. All right. I'm scared right now because we don't have any weapons on us. I think this is first floor, so I don't think zombies can come up here. Okay, uh, no, that's just a door. Silly me. Oh, there's a whole table full of people. I think they are having a party over here. She was classy. They had each other. Yeah. Room. Dearest Mary, I'm sorry I ran from you. They say that once the virus makes you turn, you're gone forever. That can't be true. I know you're still in there, underneath all that pain and disease. I'm coming to join you. No more running. God. Ace, come here. Check this out. Coming. Just a sec. There is something here. How do we get in here? Okay, we cannot. Sadly. Can we break? No. Okay, we have to go to spike them. Okay, how did Spike go upstairs? I feel like the running in this game is just walking <laughs> when we are on a flat surface. I don't actually feel like we are running. Sit down, buddy. Enjoy the view, maybe. You. <laughs> a gift? A gift from the heavens, to be more Thank accurate. Thank you. I've just found it by the owner's dead body. May it be of more use to you. Seems that we are getting into action earlier yeah. than expected. Because we now have a weapon. 
Yeah. It's gone flat. <laughs> Look at you and your sophisticated palate. Drink. Who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? Yeah, at least until night falls. True. I wish Crane could have seen this. Wh who? Doesn't matter. Oh, he is the same Spike from the last part. He's talking about Kyle Crane, the previous protagonist of Time Light. I tracked down that guy for you. Hey, what? And you're only telling me now? Huh, when I tossed you a beer, thought you guessed right away we were celebrating. The guy's in Villador. Supposedly he knows something about Waltz. Villador. So I'm that close, huh? Hey, I, I got a favor to ask you. You deliver this to Gary, it's on your way. Well, people don't like pilgrims there, but, but they pay well. <laughs> and where do people like pilgrims? Well, they're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. Maybe. But when something needs to be transported through the hordes of infected, then suddenly they're knocking on our doors. <laughs> That's who we are. All right. But you owe me one. We are the mercenaries around this world. Uh, not just one. So, what about that guy? Well, I talked to him over the radio. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got something to hide. See that antenna on the hill? That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening for you at dawn on a frequency of 140.200 megahertz. Told him he'd hear from you soon. Oh, yes, he'll hear from us soon. What does he want in return? Didn't say. But he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for free. Obviously. I don't think that kind of guy exists. <laughs> what? What about me? <laughs> You're an old fart who likes racing me and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> She's not crazy. Jane's just maybe, well, a little hot headed. <laughs> and she's always getting herself into trouble. But if you could get a load of her. <laughs> Whoa, all right. Still too early in the evening for that sort of talk. Eyes. <laughs> I was going to say eyes. <laughs> Beautiful. Steely. Huge. Never heard anyone get so worked up about gray eyes. Because you don't know shit about the world, <laughs> let alone women. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm telling you, I'll finally find Jane. We'll set up a house. We're going to live there. No one's going to drive us out. And I'll stop wondering like a moron. I'll drink to that. And that waltz. What's his deal? Is he family? No. Not at all. <laughs> then why are you looking for him? Will you tell me sometime? Yeah. Yeah, one day. Well, my time's up. So when will I see you again, huh? In another two years? <laughs> Maybe. Take care, man. I hope you find that waltz guy, or whoever you're looking for. And remember, 140.200 megahertz. At dawn, the guy's waiting for you. Thank you, Spike, for the help. I guess we'll move on. Okay, so we have to go to the radio antenna. Oops. Can we break into that uh, door now? All right, sorry for that. So, uh, okay, yes. Okay, our weapon is already equipped. No? Oh my god, that is one tough wall. <laughs> so, we better get moving. I think it's almost evening. Dawn is, sorry, not dawn, evening is 
moving in fast. We better get to the antenna before the night falls. Because after that, it is as they say, good night, good luck. <laughs> I don't think we have a parachute yet, so let's just run down there. I think that's a safe house ahead. Okay, let's move in from right. Oh no, there is no sounds. Oh, we have to look out for these flowers. I bet they are of great use in the game. It is silly that uh, I am actually running. Zombie alert, zombie alert, zombie alert. Fighters are a huge problem if we encounter them in groups. The another one. Oh! This is a good weapon, I must say. Nice. Quite a lot of resources in here. Okay. Where is that bag? Or whatever that green icon is showing? Okay, here. Alcohol. Okay. We should use our survivor sense more often. See, we were able to. We got some honey and we are good to go. Some resin as well. Okay, let's uh, get running. Oh my god, I thought I killed that guy. <laughs> that is, we have to go from the right. Don't tell me we have to go into that tunnel. Come on, man. Okay, oh my god. Oh. Okay, I don't guess we can fight them all. Run, Kyle, run. No, not Kyle. Be careful over here. Okay, oh my god, oh my god, stamina depleted, stamina gone, stamina gone. This weapon is quite powerful, I must say.
ओके मूव बैक मूव बैक लेट द स्टेमिना रिकवर ओप्स I'm just playing it safe. <laughs> okay, oh my. Diamond, diamond. Oh. Okay, I think only two left. Oh man, that was crazy fights. I only did it for the loot. Oh my god, how did I not see this? See right there, another example of not using survival sense. We could have blasted all these zombies with that tank, but that was helpful actually because if the noise alerts the virals, we were we could have been in much deep trouble than this. Okay, let's finish these assholes. Why leave them? Okay, we can kick with E. I was pressing F. Okay, got some decent loot here. Took a little time <laughs> because our weapon is not yet that much powerful, but we got a whole lot of loot, lots of scraps and stuff like that. Okay, let's move on. Okay, just as the old dying light, if we uh, leave the corpses for long, they just become small backpacks to loot. That is, if we ignore the corpses for too long. Okay. Almost got it. Oh my god! What? Our stamina is depleted. Why does our grip get loose? Okay, we consume stamina while climbing as well. Okay, that's a new feature. Our stamina is depleted while we climb, so we have to climb quickly. So we can't climb and immediately start fighting zombies. <laughs> the stamina depleting rate is quite fast. I think we can increase it. The duration of stamina with upgrades as we progress further in the game. I'm so glad that the bees don't try to attack us. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I guess. Okay, we have to hold the press. Hold the space. <laughs> You have to use the sur I always keep forgetting to use the survivor sense often. Okay, there is a cave in here. Better be careful because dark places means zombies. Nice. <laughs> that was easy. Parker level up. Okay, so the skill tree is always like the previous dying light. Like we do parkour, we get running skills. We do combat, we get combat skills. So different points for everything. That works. So almost there. Oh no, we have to jump higher, I suppose. Yes. Okay, night is coming, Crane. Sorry, why do I keep saying Crane? His name is Aiden now. Oh, it's already dark. It's time to hide somewhere for the night. Yes. It won't get any better than this. It's stuck. Oh my god. Special what enemy. The hell is that? Hidden, focus. What? Okay, some enemies use power attacks. Dodge to ever been hit. Okay, got it. Oh my god. Come here, you little. Got you. Okay, let's recover our stamina. Now these are his enemies. That was close. Yeah, that was close. So we are already meeting with a new enemy. This enemy was not in dying light. I think we can explore that tomorrow <laughs> because we have to get inside now. The broadcast station should be here somewhere. This looks like a good place to sleep. What? Someone moved them. Not long ago. Okay, let's give it a try. Well, this is it. The broadcast station. I gotta start the generator. Oh, 
Max is dead. I need to connect it to power. Okay. Let's start the generator. It will also help us to survive during the night. Because it will power UV lights. We got to increase the brightness a little bit. Okay. Let's wait till morning. Alright, we have just unlocked the safe zone. Okay, so this is our stash. So this is our damage 17, 15. Okay, the stick does the maximum damage right now. So, gloves, weapons, consumables, all extras, nothing extras right now. Okay, so I guess uh, we have to wait till the morning <laughs> although I think the next in the next or maybe a, in the third mission we will get a night chase like the previous dying light what okay these are like his memories I suppose Wait here. Nothing good will come of this. Have you brought 12346? We were supposed to take the patients back to the city. Don't worry. They'll let us go soon. Amy, I'm scared. I'm here with you. You're okay, safe with me. Okay, this is the vault sky we are finding right now. I Seems to be a bad guy. Do what I tell you. Easy. Ceases. Even if they separate us, this is how we'll always find each other. This is the man we are finding. Close your eyes. He's experimenting on us. Sick man. If 
experimenting on people like that. I think that's why we are able to jump much higher than the others, I suppose. As I have seen in the trailer that the feats we are able to perform like jumping much farther than normal person or stuff like that. I think this is why we are able to do it. I think we can get glimpses of his past like this in the sleep as the game progresses ok I think we are making radio contact now time to contact the guy Spike was talking about his voice is very similar to Kyle Crane the previous protagonist I remember 140.200 MHz This is Aiden. I'm on frequency 140.200 megahertz. Hello? Aiden? Yes. I was supposed to get in touch with you. I thought you'd change our mind. Why are you looking for Waltz, Pilgrim? To find someone else. Her name is Mia. Fifteen years ago, we were in a hospital together and... I know who you're looking for, Aiden. You want to know why Waltz was doing those experiments on all of you. Why you are stronger, more durable than others. I just want to find Mia. I've been looking for her since I left the survivor's camp. I... Can you help me or not? Maybe I can. Let's meet, Pilgrim. Where and when? Entrance to the metro tunnel by the bay. You can get inside the tunnels through an open GRE hatch. I'll meet you there. All right, let's meet this guy. I think you're not doing this for free. I have to leave the city, but I won't make it on my own outside. Take me to New Paris, and we're even. Along the way, I'll tell you everything I know. Over or now. Wait. I have to at least know if she's alive. She's alive. Thank you. I'm going to the rendezvous. I'll see you later, Rita. I think that's the city of Haran. Maybe. Alright, so we are meeting this informant now. Let's see what info he has on us, on our sister. Alright, guys, so let's stop here for this part. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, share the video with your friends. I'll see you guys in the next part. Peace.